So try this one first on your own, okay? Teacher, I know the idea, but I don't know how to apply it for the... Exactly. The, the idea for is important for large because if for example it's of 2024 we had five you can raise to the power of two three four five right but for large numbers you cannot do that idea right yeah so one hint or want to try on your own i want it okay so here if you must if you get rid of denominator it will be what square plus x oh i Yes, yeah, so plus one is zero. Okay, one, two, one, keep trying. Mm. One, keep trying, or one hint. One, one. Okay, then it is similar to an identity. Which identity? X square equal to X plus one, X minus one. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. Identity is this one. AQ plus BQ is what? fact. If you want to factorize this. Yes. Square minus A B plus B square. Yes, you should use this identity. One more hint or that's enough? That's enough. Okay. Teacher, is it negative one? Negative one. Okay, let's check. Here we can multiply both sides by what? To use this identity. Uh, 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 x plus one. Exactly. X plus one. X squared minus X plus one is zero. Then we can say what is zero? X cubed plus one. Is zero, right? So X cubed is what? Yeah. Equals negative one. Yes, this one is also useful when you want to find remainder, right? Remainder, a polynomial, yeah. and divided by this in AMC problems. So x twenty twenty four, you can write it as x twenty twenty two times x squared, right? Plus yeah. one over x twenty twenty two times x squared. Here you can say it's x cubed times an even number, right? It's not important to find out, but you can say, okay, 22, 7, 4 times x squared. So because x cubed is negative 1, so you can say it is negative 1 to an even number. 
So it's 1, right? So x squared. So it will be x squared plus 1 over x squared, right? Yeah. So we can say it is x plus 1 over x squared minus 2. It is 1 squared minus 2, which is negative 1, as you said, right? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you a problem related to logic. In AMC 2023, also we had similar problem. That's the reason. Maybe in SMO we can see these types of problems. It is for um, mathematical kangaroo sample problem. Okay. I don't remember it was sample problem or real problem, okay? But the the idea is important. So try this one first on your own, okay? Okay. Teacher, I don't know how to do this. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Have you solved these types of problems before or not? Uh -huh. In AMC 2023 also, yeah, they are related to logic, okay? So, let's see how we can solve these types of problems. A, it says what? A knows that C has told B its shape. So, B knows the shape, right? And A knows what? A knows the color. Exactly. Now let's analyze this sentence. A says what? I don't know. C's favorite figure. So, because of only this part, A knows the color. So, and as you can see from white, we have three. From black, we have three. From gray, we have two. So we cannot conclude any important thing. For example, if we had only one gray, we could conclude what? Can you say? 
Suppose we had one grade. By... Exactly. The color is not gray because if the color is gray, A can understand it is what, right? But because from each of them we have at least two, from this one we cannot conclude any important thing. But from the rest we can conclude some important result. It says, I know that B doesn't know it either. So we can say what from this part? Yes. From, from the figure, for example, let's consider maybe the color is white okay for example if if the color is white when a says that i know that b doesn't know it uh, the figure it means the figure is not what uh, the figure is not circle no 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 suppose we are working on the white color suppose for example the color is white. If if the color is white, we can reject which of these four figures by considering this sentence. The hexagon. Exactly. Because if the figure is hexagon, do you agree B can say the figure is what? Yeah, because there's only one hexagon. Yes, exactly. If you have only one hexagon. So, can we reject any other case or not? I don't think we can reject it. So, because for example, if the color is gray, from triangle we have two, from circle we have two, so we analyze this. Now, so B understand this sentence and says, okay, at first I didn't know. W want to try rest on your own or want more hint? Oh, one more hint. Okay. Okay, B says, at first I didn't know the figure but now i do so by rejecting this b can understand the figure is what the figure is not white the figure is not white uh so no sorry no the figure is not the figure, the figure is, is not white because if the figure is white do you agree a cannot say this this part because if the figure is white, if it is this one, then B can, maybe B can say the figure is what. So we can say the figure is not white, right? Yeah. Now we have these things. Okay. Now B knows the figure is one of these things. And says B, says now I know the figure is what. So we can reject what? Uh, the circle. Yes. Sorry. The if 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 uh, for example shape is circle, B cannot say it is what, right? Yeah. So it is this one or this one or this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Then A says now I know it too. So it's the gray triangle. Why? Because uh, he cannot know for sure because it's black. So if the color is black, he cannot say it is what, right? A yeah. cannot say. So the color should be gray, right? So we can reject yeah. color black. So the only shape that is left is gray and the answer is C. Understood how we solve this one? Yeah. Okay. So for next session, uh, try to work on the homeworks I told you in SMO and try to work also on some SMO past papers. Next session, I will tell you some new ideas that can be useful, okay? Okay. Okay, any question? Uh, no question. Okay, so have a good day. Bye. Bye.